Today we're gonna be discussing passive gameplay and just having fun with the spectate video. This is a wild one and honestly guys, most y'all are in lobbies like this and if you disagree, just die and spectate a game out and you'll be shocked at what kind of lobbies you're actually in. If you do enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe today if you are new to the channel and enjoy the content. Let's go ahead and dive into the commentary. Today we're gonna be starting off with Nat Kill. Now, strangely enough, whenever we spectate solos, we always spectate for some reason. It always starts off with a guy in the exhibit. I don't know why. I, I really don't know why. But look, when it comes to weapon selection off ground rip, again, I always recommend LMG and something long range. If you want the KV inhibitor, by all means, rock it. But I definitely would pick up that SMG. I don't know what a secondary is now. And start getting active with it. Let's start pushing some bitches. We got a zip, we got a bounty, we got a buy, we got a lot of stuff. And it's funny, he's gonna sit here and loot and loot and loot and loot. And I got a feeling, just judging by what we've seen so far, and I might be wrong, but I got a feeling he's gonna be doing all this looting and not buy a damn thing. Let's find out. All right, still haven't seen a secondary yet. Oh, there it is. Okay, he's got a striker nine. All right. Now, when it comes to building as a loot, like I get there's a lot of stuff up here. You just gotta be faster with looting, man. You have to actually, you know, run around, slide, cancel your next thing dolphin to do something get some momentum and then when it comes to looking at things and you gotta you just gotta process it faster when you look down instantly pick it up the moment this comes up the box decide and pick up but we're still here and it doesn't seem like a big deal like every time you open a box you need to be in and out in, in less than a second no doubt about it but a lot of people spend five ten seconds looking at the box and that shit adds up when you're looting nothing but boxes you know what i mean also guys make sure in your settings for controller you change it to prioritize prioritize interact that way you can just tap the square button or whatever button you're using to pick up something instead of having to hold it it'll speed up your ability to loot and also if you're like getting shot at and you need a gun you can pick it up quickly without taking a lot of damage a lot of guys will sit there getting shot and they have to hold it hold it hold it they're like i can't pick it up and then they die so just fun fact for you guys but again Fifteen thousand dollars buy station next to us. This is a gimme, to be honest. I, I don't even know why we're looting still. We could buy thirty loadouts at this rate. Also, maybe even throw this little drone, this little bomb drone at the loadout too would be fire. Or at the loadout at the buy station. Oh, look at that! We just passed the buy right up. Why? Oh, that you got blessed. You got blessed. You got blessed. Bro, I was about to troll the shit out of you for not buying, but I'm still going to. Don't worry. Don't worry. See what I'm saying? So let me ask you, if you're looting for three minutes, why are you not going to the buy? Like, what, it, what is the purpose of what you're doing right now? I truly don't understand it. Do you need plates? No. Do you need ammo? No. You definitely need guns. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. I found one of those boxes in the last week. He's found two this match. That's crazy. That's crazy. See what I'm saying, dude? Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, and I, I'm sorry, DMZ is dead. DMZ is dead. You can't turn this into DMZ. You're gonna get f***ed up every time, no doubt about it. Okay, he didn't loot that one. Maybe he's ready. Also, take the gas mask off, that breathing dude. I don't know, it's just me. Breathing is a distraction for me, my gameplay. I can't hear footsteps. All I hear is <laughs> It's like I'm, I'm giving birth to a watermelon. That's what it fucking sounds like, it's ridiculous. We've got people on the mini map right on the other side of us. This is not going to end well for your boy. I'm taking bets. I say he dies in the next. I say he dies before there's 40 people left in the game. We're at 61 right now, which is crazy. Wow, lobby. And if y'all are wondering like why I have a bot lobby, just to give you guys some heads up. Um, I haven't been playing that much. I'm in more focused on making videos. So uh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Normally my videos, that's just normal lobbies, daytime lobbies. It's it's the afternoon right now. Like this is just straight up a bot lobby. And this is why. What the? Yeah, There's another guy there. He was laying in the bush. He didn't kill him either. Oh my god! You gotta be better than that. Guy coming up our zip. Coming up our zip. One, two. Oh, if he would have outshot him, I would have broken my monitor. <laughs> Yo, what is happening, bro? Yo, Heavy Chevy just absolutely getting lucky. Let's just be honest, dude. He had him dead to rights. The dude should have been dead before he even turned. To be, dude, he should he should have been dead before he even reacted. All right, anyway, going back to this, the dude lands on a loadout. That could have been bad. I think he just got saved 
No, his drone's still in the air. Never mind. What was I saying, dude? There's so much shit happening right now. Um, we saw his aim, right? We we knew his aim was about to be like that. I called it too. He died before 50, so. But the reason why his aim is bad is because he's just not getting in fights. He's looting. His looting's also bad, by the way. He, all he does is loot, and his looting's still bad and slow. But guys, dude, please start playing this game like a shooter. I'm, I'm begging you guys. It's not from a me standpoint, dude. Like I, I'm telling you guys this for you. If you play the game as a shooter, if you get active, and you practice your gun skill, and you practice movement mid-fight, and you practice drop shotting and slide canceling and b hopping and all these other things that are necessary for players to become good at the game you will have a thousand times more fun in this game do you know well there's a lot of reasons why warzone's numbers are dropping sbmm shitty servers cheaters the list goes on let's be honest one of the reasons why players are leaving is actually controllable it's because they're just not having fun why because they're getting destroyed why because they're playing like this it's a sad fact. We all we all have to fight the other variables that we cannot control. So why not try to change the one variable we can control? Now, if you guys are drinking and having fun in the quads, this ain't for you, right? Just enjoy the content and the commentary. But if you guys are like actively trying to get better at the game, I'm telling you right now, just go after fights. I say it every video and I'm gonna say it every video. I wanna pound it down your face harder than Kim K got pounded by Ray J. What's, what's it actually incredible to me is there's still 46 players left. There's gotta be people that have an angle on us. I mean, look at all this. And we're shooting with no suppressor and no one's even trying to shoot at us. Ooh, ooh. And look, you gotta start, you gotta learn the guns, man. This is not, this is not a one tap sniper. I wouldn't sit here and try to make it into a one tap sniper. Again, let's go to the money. We have two buys within flying distance in the next couple seconds. They will be out, but we have two buys and 20 grand. If you guys are like trying to level your guns, I highly recommend plunder. All right, uh, you know, tip number two, guys, just play. It's weird. I've seen an influx of people, and I'm thinking, I don't know if this is how people like get by lobbies or whatever, but it's like, what's weird is I see an influx of players that are just AFK. A lot of AFK players. An obscene amount of AFK players. Nice. All right, Kano actually using a one tap sniper. Love it. When you see a counter in the air, look at the mini map. When you see a counter UAV in the air, what do you do? You, you shoot it down. I don't know why players don't want to shoot it down. Fire sales over. Maybe it's because they don't want to reveal their position, but shoot it the f down. This is the best one to get from this guy. I can already tell. If you watch my video on Monday, man, we already know what I'm about to say. Confidence, man. Dude, you got 70 kills with 33 up. This is an easy 20 kill game for anyone in this lobby who just plays. Don't put yourself in bad positions when pushing enemies, but there's so much cover and concealment in this game. You really don't ever have to. You could literally just third party your way to victory and drop 20 kills. Resurgence mode is one of the best modes in the game. I'm a B, I'm a big BR player. That's just what I love. It's what I enjoy. However, I got a lot of respect for this game mode because it's so action packed, so intense and it's fun. It's a great way to practice. It's a great way to just have fun, man. But I don't think your boy is having the most fun ever. And look, all these guys slow floating to the ground too, bro. Like, those are easy headshots. Guy pushing up. Resurgence has been deactivated. Yeah, I mean, you can you can look over and shoot him in the face. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Weird. Only 25 left. Keep up the good work. Reaction time. Now, looting doesn't qual qualify technically as reaction. It's more of decision making. But I really do believe the two go hand in hand to each other. You know, if you're struggling with just looting fast, what do you think is going to happen when you have a slide canceling demon come at you yeah, or even two bots? Head. You're going to stand here in the middle of the open like this, looking around like, I don't know what's going on. Oh, Dude, this is... Look at the line as Kano starving out here, but trying to find some prey. 
committed to the craft of its stealthy eliteness. There's another one. He spots, he takes his time, and he actually obliterates. Look at that. What a waste of a perk. <laughs> what a waste. Especially in Resurgence, dude. If you're dropping smokes and you go down, like, they're going to push you and kill you. Why not use that for something different? All the noise we just made still out in the open. No cover, no concealment, no cares in the world. To be honest, dude, I bet his blood pressure is really low right now. He's probably vibing, but he does have nine kills. He does have nine. Does that mean this play style works? Hell no. Nah. Patience is a virtue. Patience is very important in a lot of fights. However, this is not patience. This is just pure fear. You can smell it on him. It smells like dog shit. There's an enemy in the window. Oh, I didn't see that guy, though. Gas is inbound. Nice. Very nice. Gas coming in, but yeah, Claymore is great play. I don't even think... I don't know if he knows the gas is coming in. Oh, he does now. Now, you can play very passive and win the games. You really can. You can play like this and win games in a row. Dude... We went on a 17 win streak playing not like this, but slower. Um, the problem that I have with this gameplay and, and why I know it's not going to work is because when you play like this, the end of the game usually most of the time gets very intense. And when intensity rises, that's when panic ensues. And if you're panicking at the end of the game, it's going to be a very rough time for you. Now rocking 10. My dude hits double digits. We have a durable gas mask. Gas is ro rotating in six seconds. We should pre-rotate this. We really should. You could play that gas is not dot, again. not peer, the little boat thing. You can play this as a heady. You know what I mean? You can get over here, kind of play a little bit of this as cover. What I think is going to happen, and mark my words, is he's going to play the edge of the backside of the gas. And as he's pushing in, he's going to get f***ed up. Ooh, no trigger discipline. He's in a very bad spot right now. Is he able to connect? Keep shooting. Oh, no. He probably could have won that if he just sort of kept shooting, man. And again, that wasn't even like an intense situation. I was just like a 1v1. But again, trigger discipline. When the enemy unpeaked, he kept spraying the door and was forced to reload. If the enemy is not in your crosshair, you have to instantly let go of the bullet. You have to. Especially at range with the swarm. Enemy to your right, brother. Enemy to your left. There's enemies everywhere. And we're just chilling. Same situation though. Look at your boy Mystery playing the back end of the gas as it's pushing him to the next zone. He's going to get held. Although this lobby here is something fierce. So he might not. You don't even know. This lobby is special. Four remaining. Enemy jumps off to our right. What do you what what bro? Bro. Holy shit! I freaking out how good this gun is, my god. He might actually win this, but you gotta start shooting these enemies. Shoot them! Why are we pro crawling? Shoot him in the face! Last chance, soldier. Kill or be killed. There's three enemies left. We need to be third partying this right now, and your boy is panicked. Why are we even looking over there, homie? And we're standing out in the middle of the street. I'm I'm so thrown off right now. You hear them shooting. Last guy's in the water. Please don't look to the Don't go down there. You hear the beeping. Karma. Did you see that? Look at her. She is so disappointed in him. She got up from the couch to come see what the hell is going on because she did, she just saw the bullshit we just witnessed. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe today. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.